Okay, so Criadas Unidas was founded in July of this year with the hopes that we could unite women in our communities and educate them and empower them to come out and give back through community outreach and through mentorship. So, so far, what we've been doing is networking with folks in our community, community leaders, trying to see where the needs are so we can fill those needs in our communities. Um, our biggest passion, since we have mental health providers and uh, nursing people in our group, is to hopefully help with um, mental health issues in the Cape Verdean community, which we all know has huge stigma. Hello? Sorry. So some of the issues that we'd like to tackle are suicide prevention, gun violence, depression, um, and domestic violence in our communities. The hopes is that we would hold forums in places like churches and um, community centers here in Brockton, Boston, New Bedford, Rhode Island, wherever there is the need, and empower people, you know, mobilize people to come out to these forums. Um, and so far, we're, uh, our first presentation is going to be here in Brockton at St. Edith Stein on the 27th of this month after church at 3 p.m. We're hoping to invite community leaders from New Bedford, Rhode Island, Boston to come out and listen to our presentation. It's going to be all in Creole, from, and it's going to be presented by Cape Verdean clinicians so that people feel more comfortable. And um, we're hoping that other cities and towns can model this presentation in their communities, and we're happy to help if they need to, you know, if they need our support. But since Cleola's Unidas values collaboration, tonight, today, I'm sorry, is about collaborating with other groups. So we're happy to be here with a group called Our Children, Our Future. They've been doing this work a lot longer than we have, and they're well connected in, in Cabo Verde, and they help millions, I mean dozens, a bunch of kids in COVID with um, school supplies and basic necessities. So what we thought would be good was to work on an oral health initiative with them where we would gather supplies to bring over to COVID to um, bring more awareness to the need of um, oral health. So OCOF has collaborated with us. I'm gonna have them come up and speak a little bit about their organization. We also have someone from BU here, Paula, who will talk a little bit about, Paula was just in Fogo recently on an oral health mission. She'll, she'll talk a little bit about her experience in Fogo, the way they did great work there. And just to give you guys a little bit of perspective on the need in Calvert for oral health. And we have Michelle, <laughs> my sister-in-law, if you guys wouldn't mind stopping by her booth to discuss some of her, um, her health plan there, that would be nice. Um, Again, my name is Tina Cardozo, Michelle uh, Gonzalez, Marcelina. She is uh, vice president of the organization. We have about 10 members right now, the folks that you've seen up on the stage. I love you, bartender Teresa. <laughs> um, uh, Julie, who is our secretary, Julia Cardozo, she's awesome. We couldn't do this without you, Julia. Uh, Lillian is our volunteer coordinator, Lillian Da Silva. So if anyone wants to volunteer with Criolas Unidas, give Lily, Lily your contact information and she will send you an email. She's sitting over here. We have Sueli Gonsage, Leia Serena, where are you? She disappeared, that's my daughter. She doesn't like to be <laughs> in the spotlight. And we have Delmita Texera. Where's Delmita? Raise your hand. Okay, and we have, who else is with us today? Artie Gonsage, where are you? Philo. <laughs> Honorary members. Um, did I miss anyone? Alvin. <laughs> so we thank you guys. This means a lot to us. It's our first event, and but we're very happy that we were able to put it together with OCOF. So I'm going to have um, Diva Nash. Um, so hi everyone. My name is Diva Nev Santeo, and as she said, I'm um, the uh, president of Our Children, Our Future. And before I go ahead and discuss what we do, I just want to commend um, Tina and the rest of the team um, for creating Criolas Unidas because I think it's very important for us to have um, such organization um, for our community. 
um, and I'm very excited to be here and I thank you for inviting us. Um, so thank you so much. Um, so Our Children Our Future, um, it's a 501c3 nonprofit organization which was established 10 years ago um, in Braintree, Massachusetts and we assist underprivileged kids in the Cape Verde Islands. So we have 11 organizations already established in Cape Verde, in the islands of San Vicente, Sal, Bovista, Santiago, Fogo, Brava, and we work strictly with children for um, educational purposes, um, with health um, issues as, as well. Um, and we have about four programs, but the one that we're really pushing right now, it's a child sponsorship. Uh, which with $50 a year, you can provide a kid with a backpack, school supplies, cafeteria fee, and the registration fee. So that's right now what we're really pushing for. And you can visit us on childrenofcabovid.org and on Facebook, it's Our Children, Our Future, um, Inc. And today I'm here yes. with um, Zaza right there taking pictures. Um, she's our shipping coordinator. and. I'm also here with Irene Delgado. Um, she's our secretary. Um, and um, if you have any questions, my business card is in, by the door. You can come approach me. And again, thank you for having us. So all the proceeds for today's um, benefit goes to Diva School, one of her schools in um, Cabo Verde, and for one of our schools that we're working with with our member in Cabo Verde, Darlene Gomes. So what we plan on doing is bringing over toothpaste, toothbrush, hopefully fluoride, and other dental hygiene items and do a dental presentation in the schools to, to show the kids that you really need to keep up, you know, that oral hygiene in our country is like scarce to none. So we thought that education is key and that's where the, the monies are going to go today. So now I'm going to give you, Paula, are you here? I worked for BU for about seven years now. And uh, I'm a school-based dental program. So what we do, we see the kids around the Boston Public Schools. Uh, we have a Chelsea, Lawrence, Native, Framingham. Yes, so all those who goes around BU present us around public schools. So I'm the one in the office, deal with a lot of nurses, principals, send the dentists, the students, educator, to go around educate the kids about their oral health. I'm also a member of two non-organization profit, um, Amigos de Germay. I don't know if you guys are aware of. Um, we, a, a group of uh, family friends from Mayu created an organization. As you guys can see it, there's a lot of organization going on right here. It helps children back home in Cape Verde, but really hardly go to Cape to Mayu. As you can mention, she just mentioned about eight islands that should not mention Maya, which is, <laughs> which is a very small island. It's a very small island and they don't have a dental at all. So my, um, how do I say it? My plan is to find a dental chair. I'm gonna work with the Tufts and the BU to get dental chair and one day to bring a group of a dentists, a dental equipment, to Mayu, special to Mayu. I just, um, the other organization I'm a member of is the Hispanic International Mission. They do go around the country and help uh, poor children with oral health. So, like in August, we went to, um, it was August? I think it was August. <laughs> October. <laughs> October, we were in Cape Verde. It was 15 of us went to Cape Verde Island. It was 15 of us went to Cape Verde. The majority was only two of us with Cape Verde, me and Maria Barroza. She works for Boston University also. So we went to Cape Verde. We had all the Iraq, Spanish, Venezuela. Um, I think it was a nine country total together. Venomous, all that. And it was like four of them was the director of the um, Brockton neighborhood, up in Scorner, um, director, and then there's another clinic in Boston director one with us. So we did in a five, I think it was four days of service, we saw over a thousand people, include kids and adults. And we did more than 500, actually we saw more than 500 kids, 
people and we did over a thousand procedures. Extraction, fillings, um, cleaning, fluoride, and every single kid, every single patient that we see that those days left with the goodie bags, like a toothbrush, toothpaste, stickers, floss, and then the mouthwash. So we all brought in all those stuff for four days of service. We work like 9 o'clock to 6, 6.30 p.m. every day. So talk about that. And also Boston University is given a free smile day, which is on the 19th, it's a Saturday. And we are looking for anybody who wants to do it. It's a free service. And it has to be 18 and under. <laughs> so anybody has a family, or a family member who's looking for a dentist, a treatment. So I have the paperwork. You can just fill up and give your permission. Also, you're gonna be in the news, be your newsletter. There's a, like a photo consent form. Also, just sign up, and I'll give you the time. You can just go. It's a Saturday. You can just go and have. It's gonna be done by dentists, not a students. You're gonna have the things done, procedures done, and then after that, you can follow up whichever you want. But Boston University Dental School is always there, and then they accept a lot of type insurance and any age, and they do, as you know, they have a good dentist, good prosthodontist, and periodontist, all the type of procedure you need. So I'm here. Um, if anybody have any question about oral health for kids or adults, I can be glad to answer any question. If I don't, I can take your information and pass along to other dentists or any type of uh, specialist you need to be seen, I can transfer the information to them. Um, also, anything else? So, yes, I'm here and I'm glad to thank you, Tina, and thank you all the group and the organization and members for inviting me here today. And uh, um, I do a lot of home health service, things like that. So, I'm in a Boston area. All right, thank you. <laughs> Paolo was in Fogo for only one week. She didn't even get to party, the poor thing, because they worked so hard. So good work. And um, Paolo has donated toothbrushes and toothpaste to our event today. So thank you, BU. Thank you, Paolo. OK, so does anyone have any questions about OCOF or uh, Criolas Unidas? Anyone want to say anything? OK, so um, I invite you again to stop by and see Michelle about Help Plan. I'm going to have Miss Alina come up and just say thank yous to our sponsors and the people that helped out today. It's such a pleasure to be here and, and just see that to have all of you here, that shows us one thing, that you are with us, right? What we're trying to do, as Tina have said here, is to make sure the community is above all healthy. So we want to make sure that we all unite and that's one of the things that we do, unite. We wanted to make sure that we are going to be united to work, do this work together. So I wanted to start by saying thank you for being here. And uh, have a few people, please forgive me. I'm just going to go through the list a little bit here to thank people for uh, being generous with us and also um, for the support. Um, I want to start by thanking OCOF, of course, for the wealth of, um, for the wonderful collaboration here. We appreciate you very much. Okay. Um, go on. <laughs> Maga, muito obrigada. Não consigo o que eu vou fazer. Thank you, Maga. Também eu queria agradecer um, tudo que, um, all the members of our um, Criolas Unidas, Teresa, Fila, Rosa, uh, Delmira, Julie, um, Sueli, Artemisia, uh, tudo por sua contribuição que eles fazem, que é da maneira que não tive um, um table, uh, the table over there is wonderful, right? So, thanks. Um, also, Pedro, obrigada também pela boa donation, ok? Um, também a Paula, obrigada também por essa wonderful presentation. Senhor Manuel Gonçalves, uh, and um, Jaffa for being here. Senhor Nascinha, me leave me like Também um obrigado especial para JJ Café. Este foi wonderful também nessa contribuição. Um, também tem outros pessoas que eu tenho ali, mas eu de Dona Rosette, Dona um, Casimir, uh, Carlota, Joana, 
uh, Matheus, obrigada, Janine, obrigada, Michael, <laughs> Michel, thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, am I, am I huh? oh, Zelasu, Zelasu definitely foi bom, and, and he was uh, wonderful, so thanks Zelasu, you're not here, but hey. Adrian Cabral também. <laughs> For um, the, the you know for being on, on their show to help us um, you know let people know that we are here Criolos leaders here to serve the community and we definitely are looking for help we are looking for people to join us so thanks everybody we really appreciate it thank you I want to give credit to Ray who was supposed to be here today who did um, Raymond Hampton he is a graphic design artist who was supposed to be here he's not here. But he designed our logo, and we love it, and, and, and everyone loves this logo. And we're very thankful to him for Triolas and Leaders. So we had a, for, for a group that just started, we're very humbled, because we had a lot of people donate to us, and we're very humbled, very blessed. And for, I just want to say a small, small prayer, which I should have said in the beginning. So if everyone could bow their heads, per chant. Atenção, atenção. Nish Criol na bar, por favor, por favor. Então, como tem que ter um problema nesse mundo grande assim, tudo a gente já sabe. É, não tem que problema no nosso irmão na Haiti, que já perdeu o seu. Não tem que ter um problema grande assim, já não tem com um presidente novo, não consegue o que é, que o nosso futuro está, you know, como é que o nosso futuro está bem. Então, já, mas nesse momento, não lhe vi e baixar a nossa cabeça por um minuto, só por não pedir Deus para ajudar tudo que este que sofri, tudo que já perdeu, e para Deus ajudar a nós nesse, nesse futuro que não estamos é inseguro, que não conseguimos onde é que não está bem, ok? Só um momento, faz favor. And for our English folks, I don't know if people understand on my Brockton access, we just are saying, put bow our heads for a moment of silence for all those that have lost. We ask God to strengthen them, to give them peace in their heart and for God to help us and guide us in our uncertain future. Thank you.